Joe Hafley and Richard Keating put the theory to the test. They flew four atomic clocks around the world to compare the passage of time on an airplane with time on the ground. To see how time slows down with speed, they had to fly all the way around the world in the original experiment. Today's atomic clocks are more accurate, so the warping of time should be apparent even on an ordinary transatlantic flight. About five minutes past four local time, which is five minutes past nine English time. Einstein said time is that which is indicated by a clock. I think I know what a clock is, therefore I think I know what time is. En route, they collected data from the pilot, then put it into Einstein's equations to predict the time change. We have accumulated so far a change of 34 nanoseconds. Suppose you would live for 100 years, you would spend your entire life on one of these aircraft, uh, flying around the world. You could expect to be younger than people who did not do that by about one ten thousandth of a second. To measure exactly how much time changed relative to time on Earth, the clock on the airplane had been synchronized with the international standard at the start of the trip. Then it was compared to the same standard when it landed in the United States. The clock on the plane disagreed with the ones on the ground by 40 billionths of a second, just as Einstein predicted.